top lane. Yeah, looking for the dive. Three men up here. Equalizer does go down. Probably wanted to hit most of the minion wave there, though, as the seismic shove does come back. So one gets down, and Temp very close to dying. Flash from Bless. Now they need to make sure that they gather their blue up as well. As it goes, Bless. That's Cocoon. Yep, seismic shove hits, and the yeah, Cocoon. Everything. Nice. That's going to be a good gank in the mid lane. Nicely done. So one definitely knows what's up. Doesn't have the flash, but gets to the correct side of the weave as well. But now there's no turret to even do anything. On the bot side, as Drake isn't up, but they'll try for a red buff. Umti, though. Yeah, going to try for a Lee Sin at the same time. There's a concussive blows. Ultimate comes out all too easy for Ghost as he picks up the kill. Over aggression, and now it's all going wrong, as that was one hell of a prediction from Bless. Going to be absolutely fine. Ghost up here towards the top side. And he's going to open up onto Teddy. Death Sentence is going to go wide, but the Fate's Call is going to get a lot of work done. The Ren comes in, but it's not enough to deal with the Twitch and massive damage as Snowflower just pops. So one comes in. Decent equalizer for the disengage, but remember, there's no turret here. Umpty does finally turn up as Bless. Could be in trouble. Weave as well to try and get Tempt up here towards the top side. Knock Jumps off. off it relatively early, and the kick not going to get enough work done. Teddy hops over, but that's just so much damage from this chase. And that culling was just there in celebration from Kuzami. Well, coming through from Tempt when the flash is down, nowhere they could go. It starts with Teddy, face checking Ghost, opening it up. And in the 2v2, I think I'd give it to Callista, but very quickly it's not a 2v2. Bless is already there. The teleport is first coming through from the side of BBQ. So one could have cancelled, chose not to, and that allowed Talia to roam up and condemn them to no ability to get out. There's no way Jin Air can disengage with flashes down with their remaining few and another time that Kuzan, instead of just being focused and playing around lane Jin Air, Umzi just ganking the Talia and allowing Again, them to get in. Trying to take down turrets. There's the hook though onto the Talia, played back as well as Teddy. Looking for this one, Fate's Call comes in, they knock up the Jace, but Snowflower in so much trouble yet again. Already had kills. There was no world where they won 2v2. Very disrespectful from Jin Air. Well, disrespectful yet again for Soan, who's pushed up very far. Concussive Blows is going to be able to do this as the Contaminate should get rid of Soan. Just a these turrets. Is, there's the Weave as well, breaking things up, but another charge. And there's just a flick back. That's going to be blessed picking up the kill onto Snowflower. Oh, Nothing. This one, Kuzan, trying to get himself in, but the Weave as well is there. <laughs> Teleport comes down. Umpty nowhere to be seen. He, he got oh it! Oh my god, the Culling Steal! You know, looks like no, Soan's going to turn up. Two levels under. There as well. Okay. Yeah, kind of yeah. slow down crazy. Well, Flash is actually coming out everywhere. Zomti wants to make his way over. Kuzan as well does have the relentless pursuit to at least lock over some walls. There's nice. the kick though. And they're all swapping positions, but it's still going to be the kill. And so what should be swept by the side of BBQ. Oh, Hook is going to land there onto Totoro. He's going to get played back in as well. Lots of damage, and they should be able to get the pick. Kuzan is the one to lock that one down, but now the Twitch is opening up. Massive contaminate damage towards the end there as Tempt was just looking to try and pick somebody off. And in goes Kuzan once again. Umpty is just going to die. That's the Runic Echoes proc to lock that one down. Quickly here, Jeanette. Three mountain drakes. It might just be dead before yeah, they get there. so dead. There's no culling to steal that one away. Yeah. Controlled aggression gets them everything that they needed. Equalizer comes in, not actually finding too much damage, just goes forced to flash. And now Jin Air, they're trying to get this fight going. They get one pick onto Totoro. There's no contest available from Jin Air. Yeah, there wouldn't be a contest even without the three Mountain Drakes factored in. With that time, has reset their ways, so... Can't really afford to wait too long. There's the Weaver's Wall to add an extra thing to think about. Yeah, Shock Blast not actually going to find too much, but look at this tower, it just evaporates. Good Equalizer is there, and massive knockup as Umpty big gets a big kick. kick back. That's massive damage, but Ghost still ripping through the team. He does eventually fall down, and now Jin Air, they have turned it. And BBQ escape with their jungler in their top lane. Tower up it as well, and like I say, all you really get now is to reset and build up some gold. Umpty was the one who needed to make something happen. Still not in the fight when the inhibitor tower goes down, but watch the kick that was available to him. Straight line was there and kicks it into three. It's not actually a four onto Totoro, it looked like it would be four. And then everyone's on top of everyone. Overheat on the Flame Spitter during the Zonias. They've got. He lands on to Bless. It's now Snowflower, a little bit too far forward. Does have the Fates Call. Might actually need to utilize it. No, it had already been used to try and get him in there.
off. Maybe if you want to end it here. Yeah, Ghost doing so much damage. Ultimate not quite back off cooldown. It's another kick. Gets a double knock up. Ghost is taken down. And Teddy picks up the kill. But can BBQ do it anyway? Teddy, it was trying to be that moment where he's going to carry. But in the end, there's still four members of BBQ to get through. And they'll take down the Nexus and win game one, setting themselves up beautifully in this series. Really deserved victory from BBQ. They played this game very smartly after Bless picked up the first blood.